see. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to use the word black, forget it. Black vloggers. Let me see. Black, black vloggers unite. And that's what I'm going to call this shit. Pin a comment. Now, what we want to do, y'all. Um, what we want to do. Um, the guy that just tried to uh, go live is you, a blogger. Add Trenches Talk in here. I mean, add on uh, Trenches News. Trenches Talk 16 shot them. Truth teller. Y'all at them in here. Because we need them to unite. We need them to start. Add King Yellow. Add King Yellow just got a hundred million. Add FYBJ Main. All our bloggers from Chicago. Y'all at them in here. Cause 16 shot. Yeah, y'all add them in here. Cause basically what we need is them to uh Oh, no ceiling on cut. He said, yes, I'm a blogger. Where you from, though? I ain't, I ain't heard of your joint yet. No ceiling on cut. Use your voice, homie, and bring it together. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm going to do, Pale. What's up with you, bruh? Because cause basically, we this this shit is enough is enough. Pale got, a, Pale got his podcast. So everybody that's on YouTube... We need Queens Flip, King Yeller, Tr Truth Teller, um, Trenches Talk, Trenches News, King Yeller, if I said it already, 16 shot him. Just to start. And get them. I don't know, damn, if the former podcast or what, because they all kind of in different cities. Um, oh, you say he not a blogger? So why he lie, bro? Why you lie, old boy? So we need, um, King Yellow. But see, you know, a lot of them is, oh, but they can do that, um, what you calling that, that they doing, Flip? See, this is why I need Flip in here telling me this shit. Um. And the new guy, too. The, well, he might not be a new guy, but the DJ TV, I think. DJ U. Get his ass in here, too. We need DJ U in here, too. Stream yard. Thank you, Hood. So, um, what the queen say, I can help with the tech infrastructure. Yeah, and that's what we need. I don't care how they, if they stream yard it, they can pick a time, um, you know what I'm saying? And, and we can tell our own stories on our coaches, peak coaches platforms. And the reason I say that is because I know for a fact that King Yellow got his own children. Billionaire Black got his own children. FYBJ Man got his own children. Truth Teller got his children. Truth Teller bring his children with him to the interviews. Um... So I understand if y'all raise money or get money, y'all got to take care of y'all household. I understand that. But what I do know, if y'all do it as a collective whole and the money that get donated to the stations or whatever, I do know that y'all for sure know who to reach out to per each neighborhood to do back to school drives and things of that nature. These other guys... Vlad and um, No Jumper, the monies that they making off our culture is not coming back to us. Vlad told us, oh, I'm going to stay in Calabasas. So we done bought Vlad a mansion in Calabasas. This how you, ain't no other way to look at it. We done bought Vlad a mansion or a house in Calabasas. His kids or whatever going to the finest schools off our backs. Enough is enough. 
Like, enough is enough. I'm ti- I'm sick and tired of it. I don't give a fuck who wants to say all oh, he hating. I ain't hating on shit. I got everything I want and some and going to get more. So I'm not hating on him. I've been in Calabasas, house in Calabasas. I'm right out there with their ass. So hey, that shit don't bother me. Whatever car he can drive, I can drive. Whatever place he can go, I can go. So we ain't going to start that. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no JoJo hating on Vlad and, and that other boy. Adam 22. No, I want to bring our guys together. Boosie want to be on that talking? Let's get Boosie on stream yard with y'all. Talk on our shit. You know what I'm saying? We need we need our own shit, bro. That's that the minister been saying America for sale, buy some damn land. Now it's sad because these guys that's supposed to be all these old credit builders and credit fixers. They scammers. We going to be seeing their ass on American Greed scams in, in 2.2 seconds. The president just signed some shit from five years to 10 years to catch them with the scam and shit. So anybody that's a part of us that do crimes to us, we need to out them too. Ain't nobody safe, bro. Like ain't nobody. If you know that we trying to build something to pull our culture together, pull our community together, and you doing some, some, some shysty scamming stuff to us, y'all are, I don't need to have to say it. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's penalties for everything. So if we give you our trust, right, and you betrayed us, they must know that it's going to be some consequences. Put it like that. And whatever choice them consequences may be, <laughs> I'm going to say that, Whatever them consequences must be, whoever deceive us, they going to deal with it. They going to get dealt with. That's how it got to go. Yeah, Charleston White, too. Bring him in. He didn't piss the people off, but he didn't told people, you know, I'm just trying to get the people's attention. Get their thing. West Jamaican, I'm going to tell you something. You say out the gang members. You don't know about no gang members. You don't know nothing about no gang members. I don't know which gangs you're talking about. But that sound like the feds to me. Because them the only ones that call a brotherhood and a group of young guys in the ghetto gangs and organized crime. The feds, the police, them the only ones that done that. So they can criminalize us. So I ain't trying to hear... Them, so when I hear them statements, that sound like the police talking. <sighs> Adam 22 tried to start a race war between the Mexican blacks in California, and they shouldn't allow it. So you got to think, y'all. We got to start using our, it's Put the perks down. Put the fake X down. Put the liquor stoves down. Put them liquor stoves out of business. I don't care. Puffy got enough money. Puffy know me personally. I owned a liquor store and I gladly got out of it because I had to think about it. That's not helping our community. I don't want to hear that. Com- I don't want to hear that. Um, what you call that? Um. Oh, if we don't sell the liquor, somebody gonna buy. It. Well, let somebody else buy. It. Just like the minister called out the whitewash Africans that call themselves Arabs that got all this pork and beef and liquor and cigarettes in our communities, out them too. Out them too, because you're talking about you Muslim and knowing what the Muslim Quran speak of and teach, that ain't nothing Muslim. So you shouldn't even be dealing with no liquor, no cigarettes, none of that. It's haram. So we outing them too. Yeah, ain't nobody safe. Somebody got to stand up. And if it's going to be me, it's going to be me. I ain't tripping. I put it together. Kane, you an artist. I want to bring you in. But I need, um, I'm trying to get all the talent on Glock the Mic, make our own record label. Yeah, Swiper hit me about that. Oh, that's your other page, Swiper? Yeah, as soon as he 
Soon as Adam brought them toys in old block, the feds kicked in the doors the next morning. Yeah, Mark Cannon, Will Gates. We going to bring all our guys in. Um, Black Rob, he just, he building him and Will. They got some, um, they got a, uh, damn, I've been seeing them promoted, a compound. They building black bag compound. So we're going to leave all that bullshit behind. And uh, we I call Rob. Hey, man, um, the guys that's going to be on this podcast or whatever, we need to utilize the facility. He ain't going to turn us down. He's going to say, hell yeah, it's for the city, it's for the culture, it's for us. Let's go. He not going to, what he, what he got, he, he ain't got no compound just to say he got a compound. He got a compound for us to be able to utilize it. So we, we got what we need. So when we keep on talking about everybody coming in here and donating to it, we don't need them. We got enough millionaires here in Chicago, athletes and all of them. Joe King Noah done a lot from Chicago, even though he wasn't born here, but he played for the Bulls. Um, Derek Rose, they they just did a back to school drive. I can call Dre, whatever Derek Rose got there, they'll give us stuff. We we can take it to our hoods and give us kids Derek Rose new shoe. Kanye doing he doing. Kanye a donate. You know what I'm saying? We got our own people. Kanye a billionaire. So you think we need Adam Twenty Two coming in here, and then when he leave the feds come raiding? We don't need that, man. Y'all keep falling to y'all keep falling it for the banana in the tailpipe. It's crazy. Chance the rapper, of course, man, bro. We got our own people. We we got Michelle Obama. Shit, we can reach to her. We gonna know her cousins or somebody. And we put the word out. Trust and believe. We need her to donate her books to the schools. They building the Obama Museum over there. I know that's gonna be. You feel me? Like we gotta do our own stuff, man. We got enough people in this city. Um, uh, we got Don C with the clothing line. Um. We got Geek Squad clothing line. If we got a franchise, the Shop 147, all of them will pitch in. Because the stuff they don't sell, what they going to do with it? Throw it away? No, we need them clothes. Whatever y'all didn't sell, we're going to come around, collect them clothes, go to these neighborhoods so kids don't got to worry about going to school, getting talked about, all oh, your pants raggedy, all that. We, we can put an end to all that. And all it takes is conversation. That's it. All it takes is a conversation. Everybody say, okay, cool, and they all a pitch in. So we got we got the Black Bag Compound for y'all that record music. Um, probably he going to set it up, I'm sure, to shoot videos and everything, and I know he going to set it up to where a podcast can be ran out of there. And, it, and that's our start. So just say we got Trenches News, 16 Shot Him, uh, truth teller, you feel me? And now we bring all them together. We can put them on the payroll. You know what I'm saying? And um, and and and, and all they traffic, they bring it to one spot. You know what I'm saying? Because if truth, if truth got his own fan base, all because all of them got their own fan base. But if you doing it together as a collective whole. There you go. You got your subscribers. Like I say, Willie D got over 500,000 subscribers by himself. So he in Texas, yeah, but he can come on and drive his traffic to the good cause because brothers like that would do it. Scarface that started the podcast, them was together, you know, and we and we keep our own coach and our own community where we can thrive and tell like, listen, put the perks down. Puff, we don't need no more liquor. You know what I'm saying? We don't need that, you know. Sean, the clothing line, it was cool, it was needed. The liquor, the drugs, our community do not need no more liquor in the drugs. Some people gonna say, oh, Joe, I'm selling a marijuana, I'm making money off the weed. Okay, I ain't seen nobody flip out off no weed. So, come from the earth, cool. 
But the liquor, we know if a Long Island making the whole club fight or Hennessy making the whole club fight in Violet, we don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, somebody got to speak up on this stuff. Everybody, oh, bro, everybody ain't disciplined. Uh, everybody not that disciplined. You know, Dr. Sabi give us his spiel. Hey, man, alkaline, vegan, you know, eat healthy. You don't listen to him. Everybody start getting cancer. They injecting all of the meat. They spraying pesticides on the vegetables. You know what I'm saying? So we seeing what's happening is population control. They don't like when people start talking like me, but I ain't scared. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference from me and a lot of others. I ain't scared to speak my mind to try to help save our people. Oh, flip right there. My fault, flip. I got to talking. So give me get flipping up. Yeah, exclusive. Well, they all the same people. I just wanted to bring the people, you know, show the people your page, bring the numbers in here. Yeah. <laughs> now what now what you think, Flip? What you think? Like, okay, so I was just giving them a breakdown. It's saying that how everybody can ping off each other. You know, I got a good brother, you know, got here that got uh and my little brother partnering in with him, and they got a compound. They just they putting a compound together, studio and everything. So I'm saying if we do trenches, trenches news. Trenches Talk, 16 Shot em, and Truth Teller, just them four alone, right? To mm -hmm. do a podcast, ju just say, just like the Breakfast Club, but with four guys. Yeah. Driving their traffic, put them on a salary so they can get paid twice. You know, they can get paid for working in a compound at the company, you know, doing a podcast, get the, get the, uh, sponsorships and everything, plus they get their own little donations and everything to their cash apps or whatever. I'm saying that to say, Flip, I know that if we do stuff like that, I know that Sweeper can donate, or I know he would donate back to Old Block because majority of <laughs> new from Newtown, so they went from Newtown to Old Block anyway. So okay. that's all everybody people, you know what I'm saying? Calumet right. building. That's all everybody people. So that way, you know what I'm saying, if Sweeper was over there making some money at the compound, he can take care of Old Block. 16 shot him. He can take care of Alt Gale Gardens. Um, Truth Teller from the West Side, he can take care of, just say the Rockwells or wherever on the West Side. Because um, I said four people, right? I left, I think, somebody else, but whoever. So just like that. And that can be done. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, that can be done. So so I don't see. And then they do interviews with, with, with Flip on StreamYard, interviews with, um with um what's my man, Willie D on StreamYard. You see what I'm saying? And we can start cross-promoting cross it and help them. <laughs> Together, I don't mm -hmm. think that's the bad idea, bro. Because and, and I'm and you said, well, why is our people keep jumping on Vlad and, and Adam Twenty Two? And it's because they got the subscribers. So we see that people was jumping with the numbers. They running with the numbers. Why you so, never? Why you, why you never gonna try to talk to Vlad? And you ever try to talk to him? Yeah, Saigon just called me the other day talking about let's do a segment, the shit like that Boosie do on Vlad, and I told him fuck that, no. Why not? Cause I I talk, I feel like he a culture vulture, and I calls it out every time. I don't want to do it. I don't have to. So this is my thing. I don't have to. I don't care about his four million, whether they inflate it or if they real subscribers. I can give two fucks. I don't care. I don't want to be on there. He keep lying and telling Saigon, oh Joe mad because he told he wanted me to put an artist on my page. And I didn't do it. That's a lie. I was upset because he dissed Chella H. Young Who's sister, that? rapper Who's... from my projects, from Ida B. Wells, Chella H. She put out a mixtape in what, damn near, I don't know, probably 2000. I'm just, I don't know. It probably was 2000 and something. But 
and it was called the abortion, right? And he dissed the shit out of her on his Twitter. So y'all can follow that shit or whatever. He did, he was dissing the shit out of all this shit, trash, the abortion, all what is this, and all this criticizing our, our women, right? So that was another disrespect. And I've been on his ass ever since. You know what I'm saying? And right now, today. Really? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you got mad because he gave his opinion on something, Joe? Come on, man. No, listen. He Listen, if you're supposed to be a DJ, and it's a young up-and-coming artist, a female at that, okay. and you dissing, you dissing her ideas, you dissing her creativity, hip-hop is about originality, creativity, right around. That's a fact. I'm listening. So, once again, we got him, Caucasian dude, in our culture, dictating what's hot and what's not. Uh, bro, that shit ain't going to sit well with me. You see the conditions we in now because of that. In life, look at the conditions we in now because of that. Them dictating shit. They brought us separatism and everything else you can name. They brought, they done to us. So when he done that, I ain't see nobody else step up for her. I stood up for her. You know what I'm saying? And right now today, what, two months ago, what's the big world topic? Women doing what? Able to have their right to get abortions or not. So that shit is relevant right now today. Her idea, her thought process is relevant right now today. And I want to send prayers to her, you know, because she had just got sick or something. So, but she been doing good for herself. She had new new stores, riding fly new whips, dropping still new music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So she bypassed his ass anyway with with that slick talking he was talking, cause she put out her music. You know what I'm saying? And everything. You know, so she a pillar for the city for the young females coming up. All our young females, they gonna say Chella and they'll say Shauna. So Chella and Shauna, and of course the brat, you know what I'm saying? Cause the brat, Chella and Shauna will give it up to the brat, but they right under her. So you got the brat, you got nuisance from psychodrama, then you got Shauna and Chella. That's a, that's that's how that go. You know what I'm saying? And so that's just like somebody, that's like if Vlad this little Kim. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm listening. So if Vlad this look Kim, we, we don't say nothing. Don't know Brooklyn, the whole Brooklyn, the whole New York. Don't nobody listen, got. Nothing. I just listen, 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 Joe, Joe. Listen, get some. Listen, I got, I got, I got a meeting to do. Okay, you gonna turn up? I just came to bring the numbers in here because people need to hear what you got to say. Yeah, listen, I, I really do. I really don't really. I really understand. I understand what you're saying. I feel like, you know, everybody should be held accountable. You know, even even the people that's going up there, the Vlad. I feel like he's not solely responsible. I feel like, you know, a lot of times we like to point the fingers at people instead of holding people accountable that <clears throat> that I do care, actually. I do care. Now, you've seen like, that. I'm glad you've seen that. So you see what I mean? Yeah, I do care. I do care. I just, I just have a meeting. I have a meeting because there's a breach of a contract or something. So I have a meeting. So what I'm saying is that, and, and they're waiting for me. <clears throat> so what I'm saying is this, um, you know, um, I do feel like people are to blame, not Vlad. I feel like, you know, but I'll come and give my opinion another time. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. But I appreciate you, man. I just want, I just want, I just want the numbers in here to hear you because you talk, you talk real shit, and this shit go under the radar because of some shadow ban or because yeah. people don't like yeah, it. They definitely got me shadow banned. They been my shit. But if I go in that box, that middle box, this shit got over ten thousands or something views and likes. But right here is doing that. Well, good luck exactly. with your meeting, Flip, and do what you do. My nigga. I All right. You. I came what, what's up. good with you, big bro? Man, we trying to figure this. I know you probably can't see me like that. Hold on. But I agree with everything you're saying. Can you hear me clear? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I agree with everything you're saying, bro. A lot of them interviews and a lot of people be saying all oh, people hating and this, that, and the third. No, it's not hating at all. What it's saying is that who can show you, how can the enemy show you in the right light? How can the enemy show you, even if y'all think about the things that go viral on Vlad or go viral on Adam 22, it's negative shit. It's negative shit. When these artists go in there, they could be promoting the album. You never see him 
drop shit about the artist album. It's always a negative view. And to us, and to us, we from that. So you thinking it's not negative, but the consumers of music is not us. We don't really consume that much music. It's the it's the people who don't look shit like us. Now, now hold on. Let me see something, because this guy. Is... That's West, man. Just I'll just remove him. He just got hate in his veins. Hey, JoJo. What up, though? That's Swiper. Man, this Swiper, man. Hey, y'all, man. Y'all support JoJo, man. JoJo a real OG, man. When I was a shorty, when I first went on the tray, JoJo used to be on the motherfucker three wheel. I said, I'm going to get that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to get that motherfucker on everything, bro. I ain't have it, but I watched the twins and all them ball out. I waited my turn. I was patient. I ain't easy then. You hear me? I watched y'all, though, JoJo, just to let you know, man. You a real OG, bro. Like, you and Bodil, it's only a few of y'all left, man, in the city, bro. Like, don't nobody want to deal with this shit. Like, it's sad, bro. Like, don't know niggas. The real reason why the OGs don't want to jump in this shit, because I would be like, oh, man, I, we knew y'all was the leaders. Just by them telling the show you want to stop, man. You know what I'm talking about? So motherfuckers, like, throwing their hands up in there, like, fuck it. Let them crash. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. it, and it, it be like that. But see, it's touchy. I'm from Chicago, too, bro. It's touchy, like, for the OGs. People got to understand, this is like, the OGs, like, Joe, he got probably one of the most difficult tasks at hand, right? Because he know what a lot of the shit going on is wrong, but at the same time, you know, you can't offend these shorties. These shorties not like we was where the OGs could say something and we listen. These shorties are so, they got to approach in a different way. So it take time and they just trying to get everybody to like, all right, these shorties, they got to do this wild shit if we got a platform that actually show our real talent. And niggas ain't got to go and do extra clout chasing shit or tell them they self on them. All these shorties want to do real shit, bro. Is put their music out there, get a good audience for it, but these other... Because you got to ask yourself, you seen 16 Shot'em climb, you seen Queen Flips climb, you seen a lot of these major black platforms climb up, right? Ain't nobody never seen Vlad or Adam 22 climb. They just appeared. You got to ask yourself. You seen DJ Academics climb up the ladder. You haven't seen Vlad and them. They just appeared out of nowhere. That was one of the major blog sites and interview places to go. How? How do how do how do how do a white a dude who do porn Adam Twenty Two become hip hop? How do that become hip hop? This man fuck his wife with other bitches on 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 his other shit. Like y'all gotta understand, like is 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 not as simple, and it's hard to explain to people who got emotion in their vein. Get that emotion out your vein and listen to what's like really see. You know what I mean? Because that's not hey, cool. Look, like, and they yeah. diss people hey, on look, these we jokes. Don't need, I, 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 we don't need to get no fuck about no, no jump in the rack. That's some, that's some uh, fair shit, old block shit. That's some, that's some, the people who chasing the, the, the fame and all that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like JoJo said, right? bro, it's common sense, bro. We can knock them out the box, bro. Truth Teller got 100,000. I got shit. Uh, Truth mm -hmm. Trenchy Talk got shit. It's a lot of X Man Rico got shit. It's a lot of motherfuckers who got shit from the rack. That we if we come in one room and talk without all the bullshit, bro, we can get the job done, bro. I promise you we can, bro, because we got game. We got all the game, bro. Everybody and, and, watching us, bro. They watching us, bro. They taking our stories. They taking our stories, bro, and, and, and get and get millions off them bitches. What well, story Russell ain't did bro. it the best. DJ Academic did it the best. That man became a millionaire for our city, bro. We allowed it until, until mm -hmm. that. Until Zach took control for a second, you know. Zach. Yeah, Zach That's had it. Zach had yeah. it. I ain't go like Zach, Zach came through across the building. So Zach and he come. He say, "Oh, gee, could I say, yeah, nigga, I'm passing the torch, y'all." I went from a DVD, Chicago DVD. Oh um, my bother. But that was y'all. That was y'all's uh, internet. You know what I'm saying? Chicago mm -hmm. version DVD. That so was I our shit. Them. That was our. That was our motherfucking network that outlet. Blueprint. Yeah, that's y'all blueprint. So from that point, the internet come. Boom. Now convert that shit over. Zach TV come through pushing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We had Cootie and Ch Cootie had Channel Zero, Channel 19. So we always had our own. Oh, yeah. Walla Cam. Ooh. Yeah. Walla Cam and all this. this we, we always had our own. We always had our own everything. We was trendsetters. It, it hurts me to see our shorties talking like any other city or whatever because we we were trendsetters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we set like, shit up. Like I explain to people, they'll say this and that, but the pimps, 
gave the drug dealers the way of life. As far as dressing, the jewelry, the drug dealers got that from the pimps. Where the pimps mm -hmm. at? Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Don Juan them was riding Rolls Royces in the 60s. You see them? Thanks. So regardless to if we like they profession or not, it's the same way as looking down upon them as they do us with hip hop. We can't be over 18 years old. If we over 18, we can't be a rapper. We the only we the only culture that criticize our age. But rocks, heavy metal, they 100, 90 years old. Still, still doing sellout still shows. Us, and ain't nobody saying nothing about that. But soon as we could when soon as we get on here and try to band together and do something together, they trying to bring up old past on people and just all that. So I just feel like they spoke on their stream yard. I wish we own stream yard. Like where's the we we got Bob Johnson, he from Illinois. So I'm always keep his ass in the loop. He a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Bob Johnson, mm -hmm. the owner. He from Illinois. Um, we had oh, he from Peoria or some shit, ain't he? Yeah, he from yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had um um Don Cornelius with Soul Train from Chicago. Soul Train. See, that's why yeah. I'm trying to make some shit so, like that, man. But 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 but, but if and you know another thing, big bro, a lot of the shorties and the rappers out there, please, what he's saying for this shit to work for us to support these bloggers, because I'm an artist myself is that you can't get in your feelings because they interview somebody you don't fucking like, man. This is their job, bro. Because I don't never see nobody complain to Vlad or No Jumper that they interviewed the ops. But when it come to 16 Shot or more, Truth Teller, like, niggas be not wanting to go do interviews because they let the ops talk on their So what, bro? Like, this their job. They not choosing sads. Their job is to blog. Put information out there, bro. And they can't put your side of shit out there if you don't go talk to these people, bro. And let's blog about a conclusion. Let's not, not let's don't stir up the, the argument. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just like when people was like, okay, it was a good idea. Put the guns down, pick the gloves up. Great idea. And then you know what I said? Why we got to even fight? And you know exactly. what? I ain't going to speak on the name, but a, but a high... A high a hierarchy person in Rock Nation, he called me and he said, "Bruh, I love everything you're doing and what you're pushing, but I'm against that. I'm against the boxing thing." And I'm like, "Damn, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's it startled me for a minute. I'm like, what? What you mean you against it?" And he said, "Remember, back in the days, they used to make us get Caucasian slave masters used to make us get in the ring blindfolded, put Mandingo. ten." Put ten slaves in there and fight to the last one standing for their entertainment. So yeah. when he said that, I said, "Damn, you killed me with that." He hit me with that one because it's true. That's it. So, yeah. right so, so basically, you know what I'm saying? Even though they do the smoke and mirror to us all the time, because see now you looking like, okay, bro, I hear what you're saying. So that means we post to council boxing, but then it's like, damn, look, look with all Jack Johnson and. Look what uh, 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 Muhammad Ali fought for up until now to so look what Floyd Mayweather done and what Floyd Mayweather got. And then they'll say, okay, yeah, with Floyd, but he want to listen to um, Warren Buffett instead of listening to the minister. So you see how it's like, that's kind of crazy, right? It's like mm -hmm. they're they going to they gonna put that out there like, why he listening to Warren Buffett, but he won't listen to the minister? Why would he call Warren Buffett his mentor and won't call the minister, his mentor. So you right. know how that 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 uh how that uh uh damn the Willie Lynch theory is still in effect to this day. It's twenty twenty yeah. one on twenty. People trust they trust they they trust the the money dealing with a white person before they do a black person. Like even sh salute Chicago King Dave. You feel me, Chicago King Dave. There's a couple rappers he put on and they ran off on his money. They played him. This, that, and the third. And he was really putting people on. Like, shout out Doe Street. He in the feds. He was really putting people on. Like, salute to them. That's, and now people they don't even understand his OGs out there really changing young niggas' life. And all y'all look at is the white dude that they signed to in the end. You know what I mean? Like, Big Fendi. You never hear them talk about Big Fendi with Nicki Minaj. Big Fendi the reason Nicki Minaj... Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where she at, bro? Like I said, even with JoJo Capone, for the haters in the comments, like, I hit up JoJo. I talked to JoJo probably 
twice, I remember, and I rapped for him a couple times, and that man went and put a word in with cash money for me. He didn't have to do shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you ain't, it don't matter. He did, he did his due diligence. He did what he felt he could do. It ain't on him after that. And a lot of people be mad at people in the city. Like, no, bro, it's people like, Joe, this man don't need to be on here. This man traveled and been across the world. This nigga just slept in caves. But look, like, <laughs> like, like, yo, come on here. That one guy that you said, uh, block him, but I'm just letting him stand there because he sounds stupid. Like, so somebody say you own a house uh, and a white man owns your mind, you a lost nigga. But at the same time, you can own your house, but you still got to pay taxes. So you don't even. Mm -hmm. So so let me explain something to people, because we catch a lot of these old credit rebuilders and all this and the guy Tony the closure and all these type of people. Right mm -hmm. now, whatever business they doing, his family doing, his daddy doing, that's cool. Right. We ain't, I ain't taking nothing from Tony the closure. And um, but we do know the other Morris and them guys that were scamming. We know that. So you mm -hmm. built us up to tear us down. Right. So. Um, why they don't tell y'all that part? So when they bragging on own your house, own your house, you never own your house. Cause if you get to a point where you get hurt, you get laid off, and you can't pay them taxes, you lose. Foreclosure. So in reality, they should be teaching um um paying the cop, you know, the notes, paying that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. pay a note, cause you can switch up financing. You know what I'm saying? They they should teach financial classes that way you can hold on to your money and then it's like if you put your money in the bank some banks you got to know what to put them in certain cds and you know the financial literacy classes we need one, a good brother just posted the percentage of lawyers entertainers right i mean um lawyers right so criminal criminal attorneys um, i want to be accurate when i said uh he just posted this and look how many, and y'all wonder why we stay in jail. Lawyers by race and ethnicity. Mm. Do y'all see that blue? The blue is Caucasians. Exactly. Who you think he gonna fight for? He not fighting for you. Now you got some that's cool, that, that did some good jobs. You got Hispanic in the red, 5.8%. But you got white, 81% lawyers by race and ethnicity, 2022. It's on diverse, y'all can, diverse representation. Y'all can pull it up or Google it or whatever. Asian, Asian Americans is the pink, 5.5%. Black, 4.5%. And other, 3.2%. But you already got to put that... <laughs> And you know, May said it. May said the best. He said, man, and I ain't going to say certain names, but May said the best. He said a lot of these black so-called, you know, people in power, they worse in a sense than, because we already know what the enemy on. You tricking motherfuckers. You know motherfuckers come to your page for financial advice, and you telling people, oh, pay $100 for these classes. I'm going to give you the game. But you ain't giving no game, bro. You is the game. And you playing them, and they send this money and everything. So it's like, I I, that, I I agree with you 100%. Like, I don't like that. Like, you praying on the, the people. Like, you praying on people, and that ain't cool. Like, people really trying to get out of now, rut. Now, look, I just was reading one of his comments on that. So he said, so a guy responded. He said, sorry, but black lawyers are scary and overcharged. I would love to sit down with all of them in one room and lock the doors. There needs to be a serious powwow. A lot of cases are given, and most don't even try. They just rather overcharge on consultation fees and make rent that way. It's killing us. So I guess it's a brother that's saying that. But, mm -hmm. but the attorney, he responded, he said respectfully, from my experience, black folks will pay white attorneys at market rate or even above rate and look for discounts with black attorneys, even if the black attorney is considered one of the best. Now, you got to think of that. Hey, that's facts. That's okay, all facts, man. A nigga okay. always want to deal, man. A nigga like, go to the store and pay that money, but but to charge you, but I want you to, man. Hell no, you know what it is. Because for a man. long time in He's Chicago, right. our biggest black lawyer was—I mean, not black lawyer. Our biggest lawyer was Sam Adams. Yeah. Sam Adams yeah, Jr. Sam yeah, Adams Jr. But we had Dan Franks. 
Oh yeah, yeah Dan Frank. Saying? Dan Frank's you cold. He was the coldest. Dan Frank was beating everything on the low end. Everything yeah, we, on the low end, niggas was coming home with Dan Frank. I seen it as a shorty on mm -hmm. my mama, the Jew, the Jew. Yeah, we had Dan Frank's and um, and we had uh, what up? We had uh, Sam Adams and his father. Yeah. Sam Adams. It's a new black. It's a new black uh attorney. She a female in Chicago. Her name slipped my mind. I just shared on my Facebook. But she a black female attorney. She getting a lot of praise in Chicago right now. She a younger lady too, and uh, you know, salute to her. They say she be in there fighting and stuff. But like you said, bro, it's like we people people want to act like they not a, a, affected by the whitewash, but they are. And that's the the scary part is when you think you're not. You know what I mean? When you think you're not, because you could come on here and tell somebody some information, bro. And people ignore it, but let a, somebody come on here with white skin and say the same shit you saying. Like, mm -hmm. the same shit we be saying, like that white old lady that went viral for telling people that black people is this, that, and the third. She went viral. Everybody love her. You know how many black women that went on and said the same shit she said? You know what I mean? Like Sierra something. Sierra something. They just said that. Yeah, Sierra. I think her name is Sierra. Salute to you for knowing that, bro. Salute to her. Yeah, man. some like, people just figure like black is uh, illiterate and they just rather hear from somebody who they think intelligent, man. Mm -hmm. And they think. Because they think that appearance, going, that, you, that, that skin appearance. You're going in front of a Caucasian judge, which has got your death sentence, and you and you fighting for your life with a Caucasian attorney. Shit don't make sense. Right, but, but, right. Uh, like, and they going out eating lunch with the motherfucker, yeah, state's attorney. And, and, and then they give you a they give you a public defender that's paid by the government in the city as well. So they work together. Mm -hmm. They know your whole defense, if, everything. If your family was to go out when you in court, and if your family was to go out in the in the hallway, that 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 public defender and the district attorney, the same person that's trying to give you eighty years. They laughing down the hallway. They'll be going to lunch together. Man, they mm -hmm. up in that time about some, yeah, your kid's soccer game this week. We carpooled together, man. I done heard that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck y'all doing together on that thing? Belly, it's like we doomed, bro. So it's like we got too many people. You know, I'm not knocking those that want to be the rappers, but it's too many rappers like Stunner. I'm going to get this to Birdman because like he said, he said we got too many rappers. Where the CEOs at? Don't nobody mm -hmm. know a CEO? So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I'm saying? We need more CEOs. So if y'all see something just went viral that he was talking to QC, talking to P from QC and saluting him, you know what I'm saying? And he do stuff like that. Get him. And P, Q, and P kept saying, man, I get this from you. And, 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 and Suge and Master P, man, y'all gave it up. So I got to give it up to y'all. But Stunner kept telling him, no, nah, you keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate your acknowledgement, but he proud of him. You see what I'm saying? So it's like mm -hmm. they, they was doing what they was doing, passing the torch. So it's like, okay, I, I come up with Chicago version DVD. Will Gates graduated from college. Little bro, you shoot all this stuff. I put him out there, him and the Zay Productions. I told Zay. Salute to Will Gates. And, Will and, Gates, Will to Gates him, top dog, top dog cameraman, bro. Yeah. Englewood, and he did National Geographic, and, too. And a Zay, a Zay Productions. I told a Zay, I say, Zay, I'm going to let you shoot one video for me. I guarantee you after that one video, you're going to be the talk of the town. Sure as shit stink, as Zay. I got a picture with me, mm -hmm. Zay, and, 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 and Will Gates. And look, what what happened? Zay took off. Everybody mm -hmm. wanted a video from a Zay Productions. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Zay. they don't. And when it come to us, they never want to give us our credit. You know what I'm saying? No. We, we we behind some of the most. Look, we got no ID from Chicago. Took over Def Jam. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? We got two O and the other brother from Chicago took over the Def Jam. We got Dash over at Interscope. Why aren't all these artists here having a home? It's like it's hard to get in touch with even what's the name? Zona Man. Like you feel me? Like he from the East Side. Like Zona Man, he you know, he be with Future and all them. Like, and I think I think the thing is, bro, is like, you know, like salute to Dirk, because Dirk did some major shit this year. He brought a lot of Chicago rappers on that stage. Salute to him, but it could be a bigger stage, bro. Like, yeah, you man, know what you I mean? Gotta, like, you gotta, when you, you go gotta to... open that shit up, man. In order for change, man, 
We got to see some different mother. We got to see some different other motherfuckers on that stage with them, man. We didn't seen all them on the stage, the whole fucking drill scene. We need to see. They need to pull some other guys up there. That would have been the smartest thing for them to do, though, to pull some other guys to pull the city together, bro. You know what I'm talking about? For people that don't know, like, real Chicago history or the music, Chicago was never dominant like it is now in the gangster music. You hear certain artists like, of course, Jojo Capone. You hear certain artists that came up, Bump J and all them, Goldie and all them. Even back then, man. Even back then, I can only speak for my era. Salute to Global Gangsters and all them had it, bro. Salute to Global Gangsters. Salute to them. But I can only speak for my era. I can't speak on nothing that I didn't, you know, personally see. But, you know, Chicago, we had a lot of, we had, like, a lot of artists. Like, they was artists. Calm and Kanye West, DeBrett. Even though, like, she was, you couldn't tell, like, certain things they was into the music, bro. And now we don't have any artists, like, that's, you know, they even shooting Polo G down. Like, salute Polo G. Like, they shooting him down because they like, oh, you don't make this type of music. He's like, fam, I'm not even in that type of life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, <laughs> no, but it's smart. It's smart because, like, I was telling somebody, um, I was just telling the artist this. I said, you don't have to, like, my little brother, like, little Boo Boo. Boo Boo just come home, right? He just did 16 years. Fire. So he mm-hmm. would be a staple for Chicago for us that uh, love hip hop, meaning like Kane, I'm a root for Kane all day long because Kane a spitter. He gonna give me some topics. He gonna give me some flows. He versatile. So that's what I like to hear, right? And Boo Boo can come bro. with that. He can come with all that too. And he, but he gotta adapt now because he just came home. So he got two bands on his leg. So I'm t- showing him like, okay, you you in a mutual. You mutual. You ain't got no ops or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you could come straight out just with fire music and, and pull a polo G, basically. You know? Yep, yep. Because Salute to Capital P, too. Salute to Capital P out there in Atlanta going crazy. Yeah, Capital P doing his thing. So, you know, so we got Chance the Rapper. So I was telling people, I said, okay. They was like, oh, I got to do this. I said, you don't got to do this music. I said that. Chance the rapper ain't doing no diss music. And he and he one of the biggest. Hold on, I'm just artists. I'm yeah. just giving them lanes of music. J Cole, Rich, Kendrick Lamar, Rich, uh, 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 Chance the rapper, Rich, right? Rod Wave. Yeah, okay, we'll throw Rod Wave in there, Rich. So they got money, you know what I'm saying? So it's like everybody else that's trying to do certain drill music or this and that, they going for back and forth to jail or they losing their life. It's not worth it. So if you just make relatable music, it's going to spread worldwide. Mm-hmm. So I don't know who, but I know what they're doing. They're saying, okay, this person got on by doing this, so I'm going to follow that. Nobody want to go left. Everybody going right and following the Joneses. But nobody want to go left. And the guy that mm-hmm. went left, he traveling the world. Look, right now, <clears throat> my little brother, Sincere, he on a world tour with Jason Derulo. Look, global gangster. So I got a salute a global gangster on a worldwide tour with Jason Derulo. I can't tell you not one Jason Derulo record. Mm-hmm. But when I looked at the brother, um, tour sheet, he he in damn near he doing damn near forty countries. Yeah, he well respected. He wrote for a lot of people too. So Jason Derulo, filthy rich, you know what I'm saying? And he did what? Gave sincere a chance and an opportunity. So we always in the loop. Somebody from Chicago is always in the loop. Now, because of that friendship they building, and Sincere never was no DJ, he allowed Sincere, because of their relationship, to be the DJ for his tour. You know how big that is? A person that never Mm -hmm. DJed in his life. But he's the biggest party promoter in Hollywood. And VJ, Mm -hmm. you know, the person that rocked the mic, Play this record, you know, standing next side to the DJ, and he just got an opportunity to go on a world tour with him. So I'm just. And is he? It is hard not to conform. Don't get me wrong, but for me, I'm an artist that never conformed to doing what the masses do, and I've still like here. I've got great looks, like salute to JoJo, Bo Deal, We the Best Music, Kevin Gates, BWA, all off me, just literally rapping like me. I built the platform up for myself. I make money off my platform. So it's always a lane, and I think a lot of these shorties forget, like, a lot of these rappers that y'all see sad, and I'd have been in the room with a lot of these dudes, they ain't got no money like y'all think they got. They got a chain and a persona. 
that's it. A lot of these dudes ain't making them, and they could make more money if they would, like, you know, like he said, like, stick to, like, King Yeller, salute to King Yeller, man. I was locked up. I did time with bro and everything, right? But I'm telling him, bro, you got enough support to stop worrying about the ops. Stop worrying about them, bro. You got a following. Get your money, make good music, and live your life, because right now, all you're doing is getting caught up. They're using you for attention. They don't give a fuck about your music. They only care when you're saying some shit about dirt or something. Like, stop letting these bloggers use you, bro. That's all they're doing is, oh, this person said this negative shit. We about to make you go viral. But don't nobody know King Yellow last song. Ain't that, ain't that fucked up? But let me ask you this, uh, Swiper. So what you think, Swipe, a guy like Kane, Kane rap his ass off. We can put Kane up against anybody. That's freestyle. We can put Kane up against anybody, right? Uh, Fat Joe, all of them salute him, right? Now, in his case, Swipe, because you, you mainly be plugging and putting on the drill historian shit. What you, what's your advice for? For, for Kane, fires on the fires on the music. Yeah, like basically, Kane can be our next. How you want to say it? He can be our next Kendrick Lamar, J Cole, or the next Chance the Rapper from the hood, from the from the city. I mean, so okay, damn. So what you think, Swipe? I'm thinking like, cause you got to think, Swipe. You got to start cross promoting too. You know. You got a fan base of all the drill, but you can be sliding people like Kane in there. Because that's basically what I do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, hey, Jojo, we want everybody. Right. We want everybody, man. Hey, look, I don't want no dead rapping about my shit or none of that. Ain't none of that. You got to that. Hey, look, Bella set the example. Bella, that's why Bella got on there first. You know, me and Bella well, created. That's, ask Bella, Bella about me. Ask, yeah, hey, me ask Bella, Bella me about me. Bella created, me and Bella created Gloucester Mike, man, and we created it, man, because I'm tired of Chicago artists, the underdogs. Like, you got EBK Eski over East. That man, a dog. You got little hard body Lottis. You got D Wade from, from, from OBN. You got Freaky J3900. You got, man, you got a lot of people in the city, bro. Muda, THF Muda, that don't nobody know why. Because y'all so folk, we all so focused on Lil Dirk, Memo 600, and the same old bullshit that's going on, bro. I'm tired of it. I'm trying to get mm -hmm. everybody, all the underdogs. My platform is for the underdogs, bro. That's why I started Trenches News Network and started giving people their own time slots and everything. And so then look, it be rappers, up, it be it be artists outside the city that that like salute to Chicago KO, like yeah. Meek Mill, Dream Chasers. They fuck with that man heavy, but niggas in Chicago don't really know. I'm like, how y'all don't know? Like I swear <laughs> to God, on my life, in the last two years, Meek Mill changed his flow. Because of Chicago KO. I swear to God, that stutter step, all that shit that he be doing in his shit, he got that shit from KO all oh my life. Why KO been rapping like that? Now, let me tell you this. Birdman told him out his own mouth, I'm fucking with you. So, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? So, we just waiting on Stunner to ink the deal. We ain't want to speak on it yet, but I just let the cat mm -hmm. out the bag. You know what I'm saying? But KO is a talent. See, this how it is. If when we say lead by example, we need a cane. We need a KO. Uh some of them guys sweeper just names. Um damn, I'm trying to think who I be checking out that's fire too. Like me 1400. Shorty Stunner hey, Stunner told him mm -hmm. the same shit. Shorty fly down here. So he be trying. You know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie like he going to tell y'all himself, Big Chris. Chris will tell you, look Chris. You know what I'm saying? So oh, I yeah, Lil Chris man. talented, man. Lil Chris talented as fuck, man. Yeah, he, good. he got a pen on him. He got if, a real pen on him. If the city really let him be Dr. Big Chris like he want to be, man, bro, I'm telling you, that boy going to change some lives. And it's just like with the King Louis. You know, people get upset and mad. But Samson, Samson music is fucking incredible. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I've been that way. His visuals is incredible. You know, um... Who else we got, y'all? Because we got some demons. Oh, yeah, Samson a big underdog, too. I got to get him on Glock the Mike. I've been reaching out to his ass for a minute. Look, Duke the Beast. I'll get on I'm going to bring all them back. Down. I'm going to bring all them back from the dead, man. I'm telling you, Glock the Mike going to bring all them back. That's, that's what got to happen, Swipe, because you got to think. The shorties is the blind leading the blind because they need the Canes, the KOs, 
and the Samson's on down. They need them. King Louis come on back out and do what he's doing. I mean, because they I ain't saying they fell it off because Samson will be writing for motherfuckers. Louis will be writing for people. So, you know. Prince Easy said they were Prince Easy. Yeah, like even Bum J. They don't know what Bump doing, but shit, Bump might be writing for people. Bo Deal still fired in a motherfucker. You gotta think. Bo you know, hey, Bo Prince Deal Easy committed. was working Bo with Nick Cannon. He's gone now. JoJo, that's why I had to get you on that, JoJo. You Bo gotta... Deal said Bo Deal called you out, man. When Bo Deal said he gonna get it, I say, all oh, I gotta go to JoJo for the low end. He gotta represent us then. Hey, hey, Bo, hey, hey, Bo you gotta think, Swipe. Bo made it to number six. Was it number six or five on Freestyle Friday? On BET. Facts. Facts. On that's, BET. That's the world, bro. BET was mm -hmm. the world. And he made it to, to the last thing and he cursed. Other than that, he would have won. So we would have won. We would have had Bo Deal. So I still say he won. You know what I'm saying? We had. Yeah, he won. We had a Bo Deal to rep for us Freestyle Friday. So you couldn't say we ain't had no spitters because that's what he. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. So any group of music that you wanted to say, we, we, we got somebody for it. So, cause every everywhere I go, I rap. They be like, bro. When I tell them, they be they love my flow, but they be like, bro, you from Chicago? I be like, yeah. They be like, bro, I can't even tell, cause y'all don't really know like how we get out and who can get. Yeah, and, and that's just like this. Cap one, Cap one, a fucking monster. Definitely. Hey, definitely. Cap got it, bro. I just said that on my platform. I say Cap got it. They said they was like, ain't no GD rappers out there. Woo woo. I say Cap, Cap nigga. Yeah. What you talking about? Hey, Cap Ben, goddamn it, ghost writing for the whole industry. Cap still got it, and he be mad at me because I trolls the shit out his comments. Nigga, put out a project, put out a project, and he just dropped two projects back to back. Now I ain't gonna lie, our goat, our goat was payroll, but payroll is no longer with us. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Payroll. Payroll was the Chicago Benny Siegel for spitters of spitters. I'm talking about that boy there, and Cap come from that. That's Cap. Cap, payroll. Motherfuckers still ain't fucking with Shauna, for real. <laughs> yeah, Shauna, oh, yeah, huh? Shana. Hey, only only girl, only female that I say that's close to Shauna to me, bro, is Drizzy, bro. Like Drizzy God, the God. best. Drizzy the best female rap out of Chicago right now. Yeah, she yeah, I'm not like I'm talking about she the closest like to Shauna to me. Best. Like she the closest I feel to Shauna. Like, Shana. like the best I get in the that game. Too. I feel like I'll put Drizzy against any female rapper in the game, nigga. And I'll put a casket by me on it, nigga. Dreezy is a dog, bro. I'm going to tell y'all who else you got to give her, her credit now, too, because she on their heels. Uh, Day Jones. She from the Greens. Day Jones. Day Jones. Day Jones. D A E Jones. Follow her page. Shorty Fire. Oh, she rapping her ass off and she can sing her ass off. And she, 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 she doing this shit all by herself. I like how she showing that how much it take for wardrobe, how much it did this. Shorty on her shit. I just had her sing the national anthem at uh Tracy McGrady had a, a OBL league. He got an OBL league like um uh big three, like the big three, like I mm -hmm. and I and I called out. I mean, they didn't have no budget really nothing for it, but they still paid her. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to get a little pay gig. Could this could this could this be a uh a, a, a something that you could also could try to put out there in the atmosphere? And anybody who got some reach. Like, you know, I've reached out to, like, a lot of, like, the Chicago rappers, Shauna being one of them, and it's then the third. And a lot of the time, I understand they got, like, a, you know, they trying to get their career online. But I think what they don't realize is that if they actually work with a lot of these up-and-coming artists, their name will stay alive. That's true. These artists, these artists don't, people don't realize why Drake and Wayne and all these people stayed in the game. Like, listen, like, they Nas just did a track with Fabio Four. Nas been in the game since 91, 92, and he just did a track with a nigga that's only been buzzing for over a year. But I, in our city, I can't reach that. But that's Jay-Z. I mean? That's Jay-Z. Jay-Z showed y'all that for the last Yeah. Year. He showed y'all anybody that came. And look, y'all got to think. Drake came for King Louis. 600 Breezy, Lil mm -hmm. Mouse. Look, Lil Mouse. Yep, mouse yep. And, I, and I ain't going to bullshit you. Nigga, I got about nine or ten tracks on Lil Mouse new shit. Lil yeah. Mouse going crazy. Yeah, he back with it. I don't know what's, where the video's at or why he ain't put that music out, but nigga, Lil Mouse new shit is crazy. 
Mm -hmm. uh, who else I was just was listening to? I couldn't believe it. I'm like, damn. Because, you know, you had to hear the change of Lil Mouse voice. So exactly. He got a voice. If he could put that music out right now, Lil Mouse would do some numbers right now. So we still, believe it or not, y'all, we still got some guys that that they going to go with. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, you're right. They need to work together more. They need to work together more. Well, at least I like what Kanye did. He brought Dirk. He brought Ruger. Took them mm -hmm. on that tour, you know, put the projects out with them. And that's a start. You see what I'm saying? That's a start. Uh, but I was telling motherfuckers, y'all remember? I know you remember this, Joe. This is probably back in 0405, right? Remember, this when Atlanta was really on they bully. You know what I mean? The knuck of you bug dance music was bust. Remember, everybody from Atlanta took that big ass picture. It was in the source in the double XL. The whole Atlanta. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was that welcome the whole to Atlanta, Atlanta shit. Went yeah. with Ludacris and all them. Yeah. Now, the thing is, it's like in Chicago, like me, I'm not one of them artists that be like, include me, include me, include me. No, I just want some change to be done. So other people, because like that bougie act, bro, we get it. Like, I get it. You a legend. Shauna, you a legend. Twister, you a legend. This, that, and the third. All right, cool. But I right, now do something legendary. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Go ahead, grab one of these shorties that ain't got no name. You can't get no clout from them. You just respect their talent. That's all I ask. They say Lil Mouse and B-Bands in the studio together. That's, okay. that's good. They say they not ready. Single. Dreezy going crazy. Dreezy been going crazy. She really the pen and she write for a lot of these but, female rappers like, in the game. Like I told, like I told her, her Herb and Bibby. I told Bibby. I say, Bibby, you just had Juice World, one of the biggest artists in the game. Bibby, if you go sign a GD, a Vice Lord, because like say, mm -hmm. if he would have signed Lil Foe, right? Bibby could have yep. signed Lil Foe, just say he could have signed Duck, and say he could have signed um, who else, y'all? Give me somebody. He could have signed. He, he could have signed. Um, could have signed Vaughn. Let's just say it was what it was. So just he died here, Hancho. Just say if if he would have signed Vaughn, Duck, and, and, and um and Lil Fo. There we go. That's the bridge. That's a start. That was That's a major start. That's, That's the start, start because when paper and when paper involved, man, niggas ain't trying to fuck that up, man. Niggas like hell no, nah, y'all can hold off on that bullshit. And, and, I, and he and he kept saying, he said, Joe, you think I? I said yes, man. It's just how I'm looking you in your eyes, telling you this shit, baby. Hell yeah, boy, I'm telling you what you can do. And he, mm -hmm. cause you're not in tour with none of them, so they gonna trust you. You know what I'm saying? And you putting a bag in a in a pocket. Yep. It was like, damn, you think they're going to listen? I say, baby, they don't got no choice. They ain't got no choice if you taking them off. If you putting a million dollars in the nigga pocket and tell them, listen, man, I want to do something for the city. I'm going to make a big announcement. We can do a, a we can do this shit we doing on live with all four of us on here. You know what I'm saying? Him, Lil Fo, Duck, and, and, and Vaughn was on there and say, hey, man, I'm about to sign these brothers the city. We need y'all to push and support them, blah, blah, blah. Man, this city would have went crazy. They would. It would have went crazy, bro. The, the, Imagine the, them on the stage together. The kids would have been able to play in the parks again. The basketball. Gee, look, look at the park on King Drive. All them rims. It's thirteen. Cause I, I'm trying to get a budget right now to do that blacktop over. But it's in, of course, they say six hundred neighborhood or whatever. But I feel like, okay, cool. I know how to put a call in the six hundred breezy. You know, I knew how to put a call in the duck. Uh, whoever in Parkway, I knew how to put a call in. Listen, man, we going to play some motherfucking basketball. It ain't had to be no boxing in the ring. We going to play some basketball. May the best man win. We could have went right to the third district, had extra police there, security, whatever. But then, you know what motherfuckers say? Yeah, Joe, that's a great idea. But what about when the game over and everybody leaving and the car, they follow the cars. And I, So I was like, yeah, damn. So I'm like, okay, we will hire extra security to – Follow everybody back to their neighborhood safe for. You know, it just started being to where it make you be like, man, fuck this shit. Hey, you Wayne. Huh? Yeah. We ain't need y'all to do that, man. We ain't need y'all to do that, man. My wife, my wife got party buses, man. We could pick their ass up. The crowd by crowd, goddammit, and escort them that. That way ain't nobody got no cars or shit. 
Yeah, that, they leave your phones no, on the block. Yeah, that's true. But I'm just saying, like, it's open. You know, it's about how many rims is that? That's about. It's like yeah, it's like four. That's five, like that's like that's like course. that's like twelve rims. That's twelve rims. Yeah. That shit. Yeah, it's like twelve rims. We could have had us a rucker. We got we. You know how many NBA players, basketball players we got from Chicago? That yeah, motherfucker, yeah. Iman Shumpert, uh. The Matrix, Sean Marion, D. Rose. It used to go down in Brownsville, though, right there. On, um, no, I'm talking. I'm talking about, bro. I'm talking about 60th and King Drive. That shit go from five blocks. That that no, rim. That, that shit go from that, that shit go from the nickel to the one. Exactly. Yeah. That shit go from 55th to 61st. A yeah. basketball court. Shit is empty. Nobody is out. Yeah, there. empty on my mama pool. Rusty. That don't, that, that don't make sense. And then we got King Diesel. Diesel fire. That boy music is incredible. Yeah, Diesel. Oh, I fuck hey, he you. say you say you say Bill of your boy T uh that's your homie. Yeah, they doing Ooh. the podcast and Ooh, shit. Bella, hey, that's boy, my fucking Bella, boy. Bella. Bella like my little Listen. brother. That's my boy on hey, my look, mama. I swear to God, if you ask Bella, Bella and Gojo probably the two that gave me my biggest shout outs in Chicago. Bella got on there and said Kane, one of the best rappers out of Chicago. Like yeah, but Kane, ask Bella. We need to get you in a fucking situation, uh, Kane. Hey, hey, we need Kane. you. We get your shit ready, man. Get your, being on get, the your, get your verse ready and all that shit, man. And when you ready, man, just tell me. I'm gonna pull up on you with the camera, man. With Glock the mic. You know, I had an incident where my I'm, camera I'm, got when I get stolen out of the music garage. Info. So I, 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 you I, gotta, uh, I, I get the cameraman for you though. Off the strength of JoJo. I get the cameraman. Just come correct with it, man. You seen how Bella come? You gotta come like that. We gotta. Nah, I don't be it, involved in that. I don't be involved in that. No, no, no. No, he no. talking about he talking about how Bella spit. Yeah. See, swipe. Was, oh no, I'm swipe, gonna go crazy swipe on not that up. Bitch. Hey, Kane, swipe was not up on you. That's why he's saying. Yeah, I'm gonna set the ball when I go in there. I rap right but, now. But when swipe would go to your page and shit after this, and he see your freestyle and hear that. Nigga, he going to be mm -hmm. in your DM like, boy, if you don't hurry up and do this verse. Because, see, yeah, yeah. Swipe just ain't on you right now. He don't know about you right now. But you got to think, we still got to get the people to put their differences to the side. You know what I'm saying? We got who we got, Swipe. We got we got, we got got Young. We got Dutch O left. Uh, who else we got? We got some more spit. The PG Nook, uh, what he doing this thing, you still got. Yeah, he about to get signed, ain't he? You still got Zay Osama. Um, he, he about to sign with Dirk, ain't he? I don't know. but you, I heard he about to uh, sign with OTF. We still got Cowboy. Uh, Salute to Cowboy. We still, Salute to Cow. And he stood on the business for Chicago like what? when he could have went another way. Salute What's the other little brother name? Because I, I hate that I be forgetting about him. But he's uh he uh God damn my little dude, man. He was he was he was like you, Kane. Uh, who I'm talking about? Uh, 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 oh man, I just was about to say his name. His, and it's his cousin, though. I know I'm gonna find his name right now. Marvo. So, Marvo. Yeah, Marvo. Wait, he got braids. No, I don't know if Marvo. He's selling herbs and shit. Marvo on his doctor Sabi shit right now. But let me <laughs> let me good. Uh, let me see because uh, bump. I think somebody said tap money. Ty Money, exactly. Marvel cousin, Ty Money. He oh, yeah, Ty Money. Hey, Ty Money, man. That motherfucker Cinco de Mayo, that shit was raw. That whole mixtape. Yeah, he for, been pressured. For some reason, man, I ain't never really heard of none of Ty Money music. I never. That boy go crazy. Damn. Go Pronto crazy. Spaz out, too. I fuck with Spaz, too, Pronto. Yeah, because they say Bump just, oh, shit. Uh, Count from L.E.P. just dropped a new project. Swear. Yeah, I fuck with yeah. Count. Count back outside. Yes, sir. Count. Hey, Count just dropped the project today, I think. And um, believe it or not, Do or Die just dropped a new project. I just was listening to that shit. They got okay. ten records. Ten. Okay, <laughs> Do or okay. Die just dropped. So it's it's everybody still, and you know they still travel. They still do tours and everything. Uh, yeah. Like this this project I got right now that I'm working on. Man, I'm working on a big project because we the best music watching me. So. I'm trying to put this project together. I got Hypno Carlito on it. I got uh, OG Booby Black from BWA. There's a couple more people that I'm trying to fully get locked in. King Los was supposed to be on it, but niggas be lying and saying this shit, and I don't like all that shit. So 
But I'm trying to get this project sold. Yeah, see, this is conversations is like this because now if I tell Lowe's jump on it, Lowe's going to jump on it. You see what I'm saying? Tell him. Tell him. He remind I'm, him. Lowe's gave I, me a big cosign. I am. But you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it be different respects for people because it's like all this. Or, you know, Lowe's feel like he a giant. Bro, Lowe's, he is, lyrically. That's lyrically that. Lowe's been wrote for Puff. He done had his own project, signed a bad boy, and then you go talking about this legalized cane. It's like, who is this? Mm -hmm. So, you know, this this industry. You know, that's how they are. They not going to... Yeah. You see... You got to get the respect. You got the respect for the fans, but I'm saying it's going to have to be one of them things, Kane, that you put out and the shit go viral, right? I just put a video that ended up on World Star. The shit got a million views on TikTok, and I'm just kept chicken, chilling on a boat <laughs> on a yacht with some chicks in, 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 yeah. in, in, um, in, in Mexico, and the shit got a million views on TikTok. It gets its own world star and it's on everybody blog page. You know what I'm saying? And it's just so if if that can happen, y'all artists. So I expect any and everything an artist do to go viral. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like right now, I just that post you comment on that bitch just did 1.3 million. Like me trying to blow my page up to because I, I was doing it wrong at first as an artist. We always talk about not having a crowd or people not buying our shit. But we got to understand, when you're an independent artist, you everything. You're the whole label. You're in charge of your publicity, your promotion, your marketing, everything. You got to grow your page. So me, I, I grow my page through rapping and comedy. I'm from Chicago. We fried niggas. We crack jokes. So why not put two in there together and it help grow my shit? So when I drop, I do got a crowd. For the first time when I drop this project, I got a real crowd, almost 40,000 followers, legit followers that I done built up. Almost two thousand subscribers on YouTube. So when I drop this project, it's gonna it's gonna do more yeah. than you know. You got you got to check them out. Swipe Kane Fire and and Pistol got something for you too. Swipe Pistol. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to get up with, man. I'm trying to get up with Pistol, man. Uh, yeah, Bella Pistol. just told me about him, man. Bella yeah. just told me about Pistol, bro. Yeah, Pistol just. I remember Pistol P. I remember when yeah. I when I was younger, bro. But I ain't seen him until Truth Teller. Exactly. When I seen him on Truth Teller. I say, oh, I got to get him. Yeah, on that thing. Pistol on board, him and Satch, uh, Chachi. I don't know what Chachi waiting. See, this how it was. Pistol was my meat meal to the industry, right? C note, C note was my Buster Rhymes or Biggie. Big Blast was my Scarface. You see what I'm saying? Chachi was my Nas. So I put Black Rose was my Jadakiss slash fast Styles P. So I had an all-star team. You see what I'm saying? But we just was in the DVD era. You feel me? Yeah. So mm -hmm. if they was to have this internet, and that's why I just was selling Pistol, what is you waiting on to drop some music? Because you got the internet now. You know what I'm saying? And if Pistol, the music he just sent me, if he shoot them videos and drop that music, he going to wake up the dead. The motherfuckers going to be like, what? Pistol came back out of retirement? Like, like yeah, Pistol need to come back, bro. I ain't gonna lie hey, to you. It's a hole before, in music, bro. Everybody dead. It's a hole in Before I get off of here, before I get off of here, I'm a, it's one of it's like one of the last couple tracks on my project. I'll wrap this shit for you real quick if you don't mind. Go ahead, because I won't swipe to hit you. All right. Let's get it over. Nigga, fuck. Look. Yo, listen. Huh. All this weight up on my shoulder like a truck load. All them cold emotions really left my heart froze. Love ain't free. Shit coming with a barcode. I move by myself. I got no friends. I can't trust those. Them ties lead the funerals. So I had to cut those. Say she love you, then she changed. Yeah, you know how that go. Put your heart right on the table. Not surprised it got cut, though. Left a nigga cut, though. You should have watched that back, though. From a city where the kids are still dying from the gun smoke. No, the pain will never stop. But Lord knows we still coping. School, I got suspended. Was too broke to pay attention. I know God will take his time. But the devil moved relentless all this hurt that's on my senses might just lead me to a sentence not on paper but in prison gotta work on my decisions and they only see they self i was never in a vision i was never in the car they never cared about my mission better watch out for them snakes them love sounds turn to hisses and everything they promise get drowned out in their wishes like i wish i never met you and i wish you wasn't living and i wish that i was selfish lord why am i so given put my life in people's hands who didn't have no feelings can't even play my own hands they fucking up my dealers why the fuck they hate so heavy. I'm just trying to feed my 
my children. Every verse I spit a hundred. I'm just trying to make a million to keep it realistic. My youngest son is autistic. That's why I go so hard and I be rapping with conviction. Don't tell me I can't make it. The hell with y'all restrictions. The road I'm on is narrow. We just travel through the trenches. We're anxious, we but candy, and we can't afford no dentist. So everybody popping perkies because they numb out all their senses. Hit that henny, get that glizzy. With that clip, they got extensions. It's a struggle just to live, but still, death is so expensive. Communication ain't the key when you dealing with a liar. I'm just trying to check a bag and put my name up on these flyers. Fix felonies, I gotta win. Them jobs ain't trying to hire, but it increased my hustle. I'm a seller, not a buyer. My homie hit a lick for 20K, all blueback. He hit my line of flex, and he ain't asked me for my cash yet. <laughs> but hey, hey, just... hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what up? AK, that's the realest shit, man, that I heard somebody say, man. My yeah. homie called me flexing, but he ain't trying to hit that cash out. And oh, that's how life. it is. Your homie will call you, show you that shit, but he ain't going to send you nothing on that thing. Shit, bro. I'm telling hey, you. Hey, AK, and I got to get you on that, man. Whenever you get ready, just tell JoJo, yeah, man, I'll set you, up the camera, man. I'm pulling up on everybody in Iraq. You from Chicago, man. Hey, look, that's I pull up. up on your block. I'm pulling up trusting that you trust yourself, bro, because I'm going to protect myself. I'm just trying to help y'all, bro. I don't give a fuck where you from. You could be now, from. Now, when you. I do business, I always. I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up, bro. Yeah. On everything, because I come to come help to business, you. Bro. Just, just look at me when I pull up on your block. Just look at me like this. He come to help me more than the niggas who've been on this motherfucker. So, you know what I'm talking about? Protect the bag. Protect the motherfucker who's going to get the outlet. JoJo got a good outlet. So if JoJo and them hit some shit that's on block the mic and they fuck with y'all, JoJo going to put it in, bro. I'm just trying to help y'all. I'm doing my part. JoJo got the, the top of this shit. So if y'all help me help y'all, bro, I just seen Nafis on here. I seen um DJ Monty and them on here. I seen a lot of people on here who got outlets, bro, who can help y'all, bro. Mm -hmm. DJ Monty party for everybody. And salute to Shondell because he going to definitely play it on Power 92. Shout out Shondell too, man. Yeah, and Shot Blizz. Shot Blizz. <laughs> hey. And, uh, and, and I'm going to tell you who else love to play y'all shit from the crib. Sean Mack. Sean Mack. Sean Mack. Sean Mack. It's Mack, bitch. At 10, it. at 10 parties this week in Memphis, this, that. And he'll be down there playing y'all shit. I'm telling you, Mack going to be bullshitting, man. So we going to, we going to, we going to, I'm telling you, Swipe, this, all this we doing together, if we continue this, bro, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change the city. Oh, 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 Jojo, I'm getting up with you, man. Whenever you tell me, man, you need me, I'm popping out, bro, because I'm for the city, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the youth, bro. Like, get them their parks back, bro. Get them that shit back, bro. Ain't no need for no grown-ass man to be standing on no fucking block, bro. Let the kids hide that shit. Hey, look, if you want to stand on the block and jeopardize the kids, hey, look, it's a it's a big-ass field next to the gardens. It stretched from 100 and something all the way to goddamn it, um, what's that, Hammond, Indiana. Go and meet up in a field and shoot. That's all you got to do. Meet up like the Wild Wild West or something. But the oh, kids got to right live, there. bro. Niggas got kids. All of us got kids. Each and every one of us got kids. Even the gang members, bro. You mm. got fucking kids, bro. And it's sad until it's your kid. That's how everybody laughing until it's your kid, your daughter, mm -hmm. your family member. That's when the shit ain't funny. And with that being said, we're going to end the live. I appreciate y'all for coming on. Y'all stay tuned for Glock the Mic. Yes, sir.